In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Lord God, who chose St. Luke to reveal by his preaching and writings the mystery of your love for the poor, grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Demas has deserted me for love of this life and gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark to come and bring him with you. I find him a useful helper in my work. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas, and the scrolls, especially the parchment ones. Alexander the coppersmith has done me a lot of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. Be on your guard against him yourself, because he has been bitterly contesting everything that we say. The first time I had to present my defense, there was not a single witness to support me. Every one of them deserted me. May they not be held accountable for it. But the Lord stood by me and gave me power, so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. And so I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Word of the Lord Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. They make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. The Lord is just in all his ways, and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who called him, who called on him from their hearts. Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. Alleluia! Alleluia! I chose you from the world to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, and the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, 
let your first words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, he will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the labourer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick, and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear families and friends, may the Lord give you peace. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Luke. Now, as many of you would have known, St. Luke is an evangelist, one who preaches the good news. Now, um, what does it mean to be a preacher of the good news, an evangelist? Um, let's take a look at the response to today's psalm. He says, Your friends, O Lord, make known the glorious splendor of your reign. It would seem that, first and foremost, before and above all, the evangelist is a friend of the Lord. Now, what does it mean to be a friend? A friend is someone who, who truly shares your joy and sorrow, someone who shares your worries and extends support when you are in need, much like what St. Paul found in St. Luke in our first reading today. St. Luke was a faithful companion of St. Paul in his journeys. This was also what St. Luke, St. Paul, and the psalmist found in the Lord. He says, The Lord stood by me and gave me power. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. Their intimate experience with the Lord became the basis for them to make known the glorious splendor of God's kingdom, to make God's salvation, to make God's love real and tangible in lives of those they encountered. And dear friends, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. How are we being called? to be evangelists today, to be friends of the Lord. So let us start by deepening our friendship with Jesus and allowing Him to truly touch and heal our hearts. Following our Lord's teaching, let us now say with faith and trust the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Luke proclaimed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Go in peace. Glorify the Lord. Bow your life.